my god. I don't know this guitar. What did you do? I did. Yeah. Me personally? Yeah. No. Yeah. Did you need guitar? Yeah. That's a 12 string 335. Yeah. It's the one to Perry's. Oh, right, right, yeah. yeah. Now we're going to see an instrument that's been oh, yeah. so badly butchered over the years that it actually aggravates everybody, including the appraiser. It's a 69 jazz bass with some real problems and modification issues starting here. Yeah, some of it, some, some jackass took the binding off. There was originally white binding, yeah. I believe. You can see where he, there's a like gouges. Yeah. It had a replacement badass bridge. Replacement Freeland brand pickups, and the original parts were long gone. The headpiece string trees were homemade hooks that were screwed into the wood. One saving grace was the fact that the finish was original, and although it had aged to green, it started out as Lake Placid Blue. To add insult to all this injury, the original owner had actually scratched his name and social security number into the back plate. So, yeah, After so all I'm this, sure he's like, the oh, instrument nice. still right. appraised at $4,500. I know, the, the body is so great. And I've got the guitar now, and we're trying to uh, put some value for the rest of it. So you put the mini in one the video. You know, there was so many knobs in there. Yeah, the thing's so small, it's like I can't even use it, you know? Here is a holy grail in the making. In 2001, NAM, the International Music Products Association, commissioned 100 manufacturers to build a limited number of 100 products each to celebrate the association's 100th birthday. Every sort of musical instrument manufacturer participated, including Fender, who put out a gold custom shop Stratocaster, and this is the one and only single production prototype that was issued for quality control comparison. The owner had certification papers dated and signed by the NAM Centennial Director, and the padded gig bag completed the outfit with the Centennial Collector logo embroidered on the front. A one-off prototype gold Centennial medallion was embedded into the headstock, and the neck plate was engraved with number one of 100 and read, A Century of Making Music. Because the instrument is still under 10 years old, our appraiser could only estimate the value at five to $6,000, but he said that could easily double in 2011 and shoot straight up from there. Junior? Junior? Yep. In 1961, the new SG body style debuted on the Les Paul Junior, but later the name would be changed to the more appropriate SG Junior, and this one was next to perfect. With the exception of the original bridge being replaced and the tuners changed out to these amazing Grovers with square pearl buttons. Unfortunately, whoever made these changes did not keep the original parts, but they did hold on to the original case. 1961 was the only year this guitar was made, giving it an appraised value of $4,000. Actually, that's the only year they made it. That's 61.